Hey folks, welcome to Man Cave Makings with me, Gus. In this video, I am going to try and put a switched magnet pad into my welding bench. Um, I've needed to do it for a while, to be fair, because I'm sick and tired of the angry end of this getting away from me and parts shooting off across my workshop and embedding themselves in doors and things like that. So, I was in my office. Now, I have to use one of these security pads to get in and out, which de-energizes a door maglock. Now, door mag locks, I don't have any experience with, but I did a little research on the old Google, and I found this one on eBay for 15 quid, brand new, to my door, 750 kilograms of holding force, and I thought, you know what? That, with maybe a little plate underslung to my bench with a switch and a power supply, I might be able to get myself a magnetized, holdy down, third handy thing in my bench, that would be a very, very useful tool. That's what this video is all about. Hope you can enjoy me along the way. Let's get in it. Well, I've created the aperture in the main plate now, ready for the thinner gauge material to get dropped in. Um, I've created a, a sort of quite a steep angle bevel onto the edge of here, and the reason for doing that is when this plate gets dropped in, I'm just going to use these magnets just to square things up, and then it creates that small line ready for my welding rod just to get dripped into there, um, and I'm going to have to try and do a linked bead kind of welding process. Um, what, what that does is, when you're going from thick material, which is 12 mil to 3 mil here, um, you want to limit the heat input into the smaller gauge material. And how you do that is doing small beads at alternative sides, letting things cool down a little bit, um, and as you go through, you just link all of those beads together. It's not going to be pretty, but that's okay, because we're just going to lanish this whole lot back with the flapping wheel on the grinder, um, and that will create this flat surface. What you don't want to do is put a load of heat in, it warps and sort of bends all over the place, and you get this kind of lunar surface kind of idea on a welding bench. Uh, definitely not what I want. So that's what we're going to do next. So that's it flipped over and the mag lock is going to just fit into that pocket there now. Um, it's a little bit thin and I want to make sure that 
if I bash anything on the top of this, it doesn't kind of bow or anything like that. So I'm gonna use some little bits of angle iron here, just gonna lay those in, stitch weld them in. Um, I need to raise that up. Uh, so I'm gonna put a little tab in there and weld that, just to give me a bolt hole to go through um, and to skew the mag lock to these brackets effectively. So um, that's what we're gonna do next. Well, you'll have seen the little demo and this pad might not look like much, but boy, oh boy, does it pack a punch. I mean, talk about hold down. Oh, wow. Uh, these little kind of parts that I deal with a lot, just simply being able to put it down, switch it on. I mean, this thing's not going anyway. The whole table moves rather than this little three mil part now and keeping the angry end of this away from these job done absolutely brilliant what it has done though is kind of kicked off so many more ideas about what I could use this little mag insert for you know taking that concept of being able to just move a base around maybe with an articulated arm or something switching it back on and having that totally solid and square Oh, just so many ideas. Maybe it's kicked off an idea in your head. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you're up to. Uh, if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing or, you know, give me a little thumbs up. That would be amazing. And if you are an old man cave stalwart, well, I really do appreciate your continued support. It means the absolute world to me. Well, that's enough from me. And as always, well, I hope to catch you again.